happy new year udbo odi hashtag happy new year thank you Chudu Patisha. Patisha Chudu. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Jeff. Siri. Happy New Year. Look, camera. Happy New Year. Nanudi. Fireworks of artists. Twenty eleven. <laughs> <laughs> अंदर बाहर आ दो। यार अभी बड़ा डैडी अंदर उधर जाता नहीं लाइट पड़ता है इधर वो इरेन लाइट है। नो वांडर अंदर आकर लेने चाहिए।
Ah, oh, Tiger, Happy New Year. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Men San Antonio, Chamo. Ikada downtown no na matta. So fireworks ani nadus nai. Hello. Ah, the kunchum katta utna tundi. Yeah, downtown lo na mu kunchum disturbance utna tundi. Kani ikada the fireworks ani nadus nai. Tapa kela ni kalas na na matta. <laughs> so, I think we call it a chess in the other. I keep production. Ah, what about the murder? Ah, what about the murder? Ah, okay, okay, sorry. Okay. Hmm. Video मात्र चाला बहुत है, excellent अस्तर है। उद्भव, उद्भव, कन्नमा, उद्भव। हम ये रेड़न रहते हैं, fireworks आते हैं उसने। Actually, a light आता है उनका, दानी मेरे block चेस शर्म कर ली। इनका कौन सा नेट जार का है? हाँ, perfect, आदि। मायगरु रावत। नहीं चाल ले ना, कंप्लेट ले फायर वर्क्स। हाँ, पहले ले। मूड वगैरह साइड चूस से बांट देंगे। उधर बहुत हाँ, आदि। Still camera? How's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? All right. Good. My name is Ron. I'm gonna be your boat captain this afternoon. I want to welcome you to downtown San Antonio Riverwalk. Wish you guys a happy New Year's. What we're gonna do is give you guys a narrated tour. I've got a couple of safety rules real quick. No standing up inside the boat. Keep all your body parts inside the blue railing. No tobacco products during the tour. And even though the river's only three feet deep, we do have 43 life jackets in the front of the boat under the blue hatches. We're gonna start the tour right here where we load the boat. This is the Aztec Theater on the river. Opened up in 1926. <coughs> Originally, it was a silent movie theater. <coughs> We break create that same ambiance. We've also got shops and restaurants and apartments inside the Aztec. Now next to the Aztec, on the same side of the water, that cream colored building up there is the old Watermark Hotel. But at the turn of the century, that building was only four stories tall. They used to make sows and harnesses inside there. And from 1901 to 1923, we called it the Alfred Saddlery. Here on the left hand side, this big old white building is La Monson Hotel, which opened up originally, the building actually opened up originally back in 1853 is the St. Mary's School for Boys. Through a series of successions, it became part of St. Mary's College. Eventually, the school outgrew the building and moved out. And the story here is two college kids. Somehow came back and bought the empty building, and these two college kids were the ones that opened up the hotel back in 1968. The natural San, this is the natural San Antonio River that we're traveling on right here. And uh, this is the original river walk. It's shaped like a horseshoe. We're traveling up the right leg right now. River walk was designed in 1929, but the economy was so bad it took us 12 years to get the funding to make that uh, design a reality. Coming up on the left hand side, we come out from this bridge, there's a high rise building, 24 stories tall. It's going to be the next professional hospital, professional building. 
Look straight up in the sky, if you want to take a picture, look at the next hospital, it looks like a wall standing up all by itself. This is one of our first full service hospitals in the country, it opened up in 1930, has doctor's office, dental offices, pharmacies, cafeterias, parking garage, x-ray labs, everything you can imagine on the one room. The hospital, Maddie. Dental hospital. Now, if somebody wants to go to the Alamo, you want to get there off the water. The shortcut would be this hotel I'm pointing at right here, called the High Regency Hotel. As you come around the bend over here, at river level, there's a bunch of glass doors. It's going to have orange headers on top. If you go through any of the glass doors, eventually when you exit the other side, you're going to be directly across the street from the Alamo. Now the High Regency opened up in 1981, but before they could begin any type of construction, they were required by the city of San Antonio to perform shadow testing. So if this hotel could prove to the city that the height would not block the sun when it's set on the island. Now this portion of the river walk we're driving into is called River Square. It was renovated back in 1972. On the, on the back of your ticket stubs, there's discounts for a lot of businesses in San Antonio. On every third ticket, you will have a discount for a couple of these restaurants right here in the River Square area. You flip the ticket over on the front portion, you will find our web address, www.riosanantonio.com. You want to pull up our website, there's a lot of information on that website about activities on the Riverwalk. Some of you might find that information kind of helpful to your visit. And here on the right hand side, this red building is our casino club building. It's opened up in 1926 originally as a social club by the German business community. That's why they called it the casino club building. Today you got shops and restaurants that turn the top four floors into one park. That's the body Now straight ahead past the second bridge as we come out from underneath it, on the left hand side there's a water path we cut out of the earth. And it actually connects the natural river to the convention center area, River Center Mall, the base of the town of water path is just a couple of miles. Back in 1921 we had a huge flood. A kid named Robert Hubbard grew up off the water in the North Town. He witnessed that. Eight years after that flood, he came back as an architect and designed the Riverwalk. Twelve years after that, when we opened up the Riverwalk, the kid opened up. He was the first business to open up down here. Look over here on the right where I'm pointing at. In the corner, there's this oval shaped building, and that's called the Clifford Building. Look at the marquee. You can still read the, the guy's name under the green railing right there on the marquee. It says R.H.A. Chubber for Robert Hubbard. AIA architect. That's the architect that designed the river. Here on the right, he's got some more Mariachis. This is Casario, been here since 1946. One boat, XD. Entry, right Right ahead, there's a high-rise uh, hotel called the Hilton Plaza del Rio. See how those cubicles? There you go. Those guys completed their construction, opened the doors right there at that spot, right before the open day of, of Hemisphere in October of 1968. There was some concern that the builder was not going to make the time frame. And it turned out to be kind of a big deal because the hotel is sold out of every room through reservations. Look how big it is. H.P. Zachary, the builder, built in furnished every cubicle, every room above the fourth floor, eight miles south of town. Put them on a flatbed, drove them over here at one point, stacked all those cubicles on top of each other, and built that Hilton Hotel in 202 days. To the Guinness World Book of Records. We're going to leave the natural river right here and go to this water path we cut out of the earth back in 1961. The purpose was to connect the restaurants off the natural river with the convention center area straight ahead. And back in the 60s, we would take, uh, we would have river taxis, taxis, taking people back and forth up and down the channel. Right now. Straight ahead, there's several high-rise hotels. I want to tell you about the one on the left. They got twin towers up on the roof, red letters up at the top. That's the Marriott River Center Hotel. Open stores right there at that location. In 1988, it's part of the mall. 
But before the Marriott could begin its construction, we had to move the Fairmont Hotel out of there. See, the Fairmont Hotel occupied that same location and had been there since 1905. And so even though the Fairmont was only three stories tall, it was registered as a historical building, so we could not tear it down. So we had to move it. And in 1985, after five years of planning, we jacked up the Fairmont Hotel by its foundation, put the three-story building in one piece on airfield tires, drained part of the river, reinforced the St. Mary Street Bridge, and drove that Fairmont Hotel six blocks to where it is today, off to the right at the corner of Alamo and Weber Street. Took us six days to drive us six blocks. They clocked the speed to dot zero four miles per hour, and you can find at the entrance to Hemisphere Plaza, it's actually in the Guinness World Book of Records. One boat entry, CCX. I'm going to show you our Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center, named after a congressman in many years. Passed away a couple years back, but in 1968, 61, he was the first Hispanic elected to the House of Representatives. That's year we opened up the convention center, so we named it after him, and since that time, we have had over one million square feet back here. We're going to pause a little bit before we go into this channel right here. While I do, look off to the right, way off in the skyline, and you see the Tower of the Americas off to the right over there. For those who may not be aware, the top portion is actually a restaurant, and it rotates. It takes about an hour to make one full turn all the way around. It has an observation deck on top with three glass elevators around the pedestal so you can look out and see as you travel up. <laughs> now here on both sides of the water you find ballrooms, exhibit rooms, loading docks. There's sidewalks on both sides of the water. You take either sidewalk straight ahead about 100 feet past the glass bridge, you're going to end up in Hemisphere Plaza. That's how you get to the Tower of the Earth. This is my favorite portion of the river walk right here. This is the convention center area. Coming up on the left past this great footprint is this building with the mosaic artwork up at the top of, that's the Lila Cockrell Theater. She's our first female male. We thought so much we commissioned a world famous artist from Mexico, Juan Oguama. And he comes over and he creates that mosaic artwork up there. You may want to look at it. He calls it the confluence of civilization. The artist uses 400,000 entry card, one inch tiles from seven different countries, and he blends the eastern and western hemispheres of the world together to kind of symbolize the diversity of people we have here in our communities in San Antonio. It's an amazing piece of artwork. We're going to pass again the way back out. First time we're going to travel straight ahead and go into this little lagoon right here, circle around the little rock on and come back out. You guys having a good time in San Antonio? Yeah. There you go. All right, baby. No. That's part of the tour right there. <laughs> <laughs> We got some white birds over here on the left, or one of them still left here. You see that white bird right there? That is called an egret. You see that white bird? Oh, how cool. They like to eat kids. <laughs> no, actually, they're fishing birds. They can see about two or three feet down the river and just wait for a crawfish to swim by so they can pull their food this time. Got a couple of airmen on board. How are you airmen doing? Good, sir. You all right? I'd like to give you some advice if I could. Would that be all right? Yes, sir. It's in the form of a story. Let me get advice These two brothers that went moose hunting up in the great northwest. Each of the brothers has shot a moose. One of the brothers uh, got out his cell phone. He calls for the pilot to come pick him up on the lake. But when the pilot gets out, he tells the brothers, he says, look, I can't load these moose up on the plane because they're too heavy. The plane won't get up off the water. The brothers argued, look, last year we each shot a moose, same size moose, same size plane. We never had any problems at all getting up off the water. And reluctantly, the pilot agrees to try it. He takes off, and sure enough, the plane does get off the lake. But it crashes into the side of a mountain. 
And one of the brothers crawls out from the wreckage. He sees his brother about 10 feet away. He's sitting on a rock. He's crying. And he crawls over to him. puts his arm around him. And he says, what are you crying about? We got about a mile further than last year. <laughs> and when you boys wake up in the morning, you're going to have your own mountains ahead of you. You just get up and you do the best that you can. You remember that's all that anybody will ever expect of you. And you two, talk, you two sleep tight with the thought that everybody here on this boat's proud of you. Okay? Got a big round of applause, right? They graduated last Friday. Thank you, buddy. Getting back to the mosaic artwork, the artist did have to paint the blue tile and bake the enamel on there to make the color scheme work for himself. And if you look at that mosaic artwork as you drift by, if you look at it long enough, after a while you might start to understand and realize the civilization the artist has regarding technology and modernization and civilization. It's all across that artwork. Look right in the center and you see what he calls the child of the future. You see that right there? It's a child standing on top of the Alamo. Now once again it's called the confluence of civilization. The artist is named Juan O'Gorman and the building itself is called the Lila Cockrell Theater. One boat XD CCX. I want you guys to know that San Antonio is one of the safest downtowns you're going to find in the United States of America. We recruited a police chief from Minnesota. One of the first things the guy did when he got down here is he increased the police coverage. He actually quadrupled the foot patrol here in the downtown area. So I want you guys to know that that's the patron saint that the river in the city was actually named after. And this is River Sham Mall right here, opened up in 1988. Has over 1 million square feet of shopping space on the inside, of approximately 125 shops and restaurants for entertainment and enjoyment. One in 10 malls we have here in San Antonio, but the only mall with a river that runs through it. One boat entering RC Lagoon. Let me show you our little lagoon area. On the left hand side of the lagoon, there's a band that plays every two hours. They're called Andy Infusions. They got pan pipe organs and mandiachi string instruments and wood flutes and they're excellent musicians. And hopefully they'll be playing as we get in here. And what we're gonna do is uh, Work around the Christmas tree and then uh, come back out. Come on in, Patrick. And they're playing over there on the left hand side. Correct to time battle level. Correct to time battle level. Watch out for that poison ivy that's hanging down. <laughs> Don't touch that. Coming up on the left, this is not one of our tour locations. This one is part of River Center Mall. This one is known as Clearwater. A swimming pool pump. 
and it provides it uh, gives us the motion and the oxygen exchange that you need to keep the river water healthy. They did a really good job of it too. Off to the right behind the sky coming into your field division is a church steeple. That's going to be St. Joseph's Catholic Church built by the German settlers back in 1868. If you get an opportunity to visit the inside of St. Joseph's, the architect inside there is really amazing. And straight ahead is a natural San Antonio River. That's the original river walk, which I mentioned earlier, was shaped like a horseshoe. Now we've already come up the right leg of the horseshoe. When we re-enter the natural river, we're going to enter on the top. So that's my buddy over there. I tell him he looks like an old menudo. <laughs> yeah, we had a president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. If you kids hadn't heard of it in school, you will. Uh, we called him FDR. And he established a jobs program. As a direct result of what he did, the worst project administration built the river walk between 1939. Bronze bells represent the five missions we have on the south side of our city. Now in the middle bell there's an inscription and it pays homage to Robert H. Hugman. He's the father of the river walk because he's the architect that designed it and now he's back in 1929. Now eight years prior I told you we had a flood, 1921. When the sun came out we had eight feet of flood water sitting above street level in the downtown area. A lot of people drowned the city with all their wisdom, called in the engineers. They cut three city blocks out of the north town to straighten out the river and control the flood waters a little bit better. They capped off the house and it's been there since 1896. It's one of the oldest continuously used courthouses in the state of Texas. And coming up on the left at 404 feet tall, this is what they call neo-gothic architecture. This is the Tower Life Club. Now look up at the top, especially you kids. There's 20 gargoyles that surround the top two towers and those gargoyles up there, they're part of the drain system. They function like water spots. And what happens is when the rainwater cascades down off the roof, it goes down to the gutters. And then it shoots out the mouth of those gargoyles up there and then filters down to the drain system all the way to street level. The building was designed by a father and son team. Atlee and Robert Ayers. They opened up the building originally on June the 1st of 1929 as the Smith Young Towers. And uh, the original builders had a bunch of faces carved into the side of the building. Look what that gentleman was pointing at. Underneath the second floor window, you see these faces below the, the trim, right above the crepe myrtle trees right here. They're called grotesque, and they're there by the design of the builders to ward off evil spirits. Now the Tower of Life building has eight sides to it, and it's the only eight-sided building that we've got in the United States of America. Straight ahead, past the second bridge, we're going to travel into the North Channel. Four and a half miles to the right, straight up the North Channel is where the river starts on the University of McCarnaway campus. River actually flows 138 miles south, at which point it blends into the Guadalupe River and then filters into the Gulf of Mexico. The source of uh, water for the San Antonio River is a huge underground limestone lake. It's called the Edwards Underground Aquifer. And before I forget, here on the right hand side, this is our international center. Uh, it used to be our main public library, but after 30 years in 1998, we signed the North America Free Trade Agreement. Some of you may remember NAFTA. When we signed NAFTA, we turned the library into trade offices. We walked down on the bottom and just started growing right out of the middle of that rock wall. And look at that, that box auger up on the bottom over there. Right in the center, in the back over there, there's a, a limb that's arcing off to the right, right? It's behind that, uh, the family right there. Yeah. And it appears that that limb is growing right through the center of that box alder's trunk right there on top. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. See that right there? Anyway, it's got nothing to do with the tour, but it's interesting. I wanted to share it with you. And here's our last point of interest on our tour. So on the left hand side, this is the New Jersey oh, yeah. Suites Hotel. Opened up back in 1999, is, and, uh, but the building originally opened up in 1921, a couple months before the flood of 1921, as our city public service building. Now after that big storm, when the sun came out, look where I'm pointing at. 
the flood water is shot above the second row window on the building over here on the left. And that flood water was spilled was nice and sewage and all kinds of nasty stuff. 51 people drowned and 27 people. We never even found them again. We don't know what happened. That's the flood of 1940. They wanted to change everything.